Hey lovies and welcome back to my channel. So I already recorded or filmed this book haul, but something happened to the introduction first clip of the book haul, so I had to completely scrap the footage and refilm this book haul. So I got about maybe 10 books here and they're all like collected over the last couple months and some are from like my library book sale or half price books yeah but since there are quite a few let's just get started so the first book I've heard a lot about this book around booktube and, and I know Pullin' Bananas loves this series and I saw it at half price books for $9.59 exactly <laughs> Scythe by Neil Schusterman is about this world who has no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. But there are scythes. Scythes are the only ones who get into life and they are commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control since the birth rate is higher than the death rate. The next book is a book I talked about in one of my follow me around videos I think. It was like on the list books that I wanted to find but I found it but I didn't end up getting it but I found it again and that is Everland by Wendy Spinnell and this is like a steampunk version of Peter Pan legend has been destroyed in a blitz of bombs and disease there's an outbreak of a deadly virus and Gwen darling and her younger siblings spend their nights scavenging for food and avoiding the marauders the German army led by the cutthroat Captain Hans Otto Oswald Kretschersmann. And Captain Hook is hunting for a cure that is found in young children. And one day they grab one of Gwen's siblings, so she is running for her and her siblings' life to try to save her sibling from Captain Hook. And she meets along the way Peter, who him and his lost boys and the sharpshooter Bella help Gwen go and to save her siblings basically. The help may be a steep price and promises are bound in blood and Gwen is throwing herself into a lot more than she thought she was going to get into and I can't talk. But this book, y'all know I love retellings and I know this is like a series, so it's like a re retelling series or maybe it's just like a series of this story. But it's a retelling nonetheless, and I want to get to this book. The next book is a book I got at my library book sale, and that is Texas Gothic by Rosemary Clementine Moore. It's about Amy Goodnight. Her household is surrounded by spells and benevolent ghosts, but she also understands that normal doesn't mix with magic, and she's worked hard to build a wall between the two worlds, not only to protect her family, who are all practicing witches, but to protect any hope of ever having a normal life. So she's ransitting her aunt's house in Texas to have like a good old ordinary uneventful hard-working life for once. Only Amy and her sisters aren't alone. There is someone in the house with them and it's not the living breathing hot beautiful cowboy next door. It's a ghost and it's more powerful than all the good knights protection spells combined can handle. It wants something from Amy and the walls that she built between the two worlds are crumbling down. I honestly just got this because the cover caught my attention. The next book is a book that I showed y'all in one of my reading blogs. It's a book that I got from like this little shelf window where it's like give a book, take a book. And that is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. And this is like a girl who's an illusionist where her whole family, she's made up of illusions. And one day, one of her family members gets killed, but it's strange because they're illusions. How can you kill an illusion? It's not really there. And she has to race to find out who is killing her family before more are killed. The next book I got is from my library sale, and that is... Story of a Girl by Sarah Czar, and this is totally a beaten up copy of this book, but it was on the shelf at my library sale, 
for like a couple weeks and nobody picked it up but and I was sort of interested in it so I decided to pick it up anyways. And this is about a girl who is getting bullied at school being named the school slut. And Deanna wants to escape her life that is defined by her past and the repercussions that she has been facing being, being called a school slut. With subtle grace, complicated wisdom, and striking emotion, the story of a girl reminds us of our human capacity for resilience and redemption. So I don't normally go for books like this, like a contemporary book, but it just caught my interest for some reason. The next book I got it is from High Price Books. And I feel like it was in my spookathon, spookathon, spookathon reading vlog that I talked about wanting to have a Stephen King collection, and I've started with this book by Stephen King, and that is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. This is a big book, like in my gooch. How many pages? Like almost seven hundred. Oh my gosh. Teacher's so real and near, it might be now. Something happens when women go to sleep. They become shrouded in a cocoon like gauze. They are awakened. They become feral and violent. And while they sleep, they go to another place, a better place where harmony prevails and conflict is rare. One woman, the mysterious Eve Black, is immune to the blessing or curse of the sleeping with disease. Is Eve a medical anomaly to be studied, or is she a demon who must be slain? Abandoned left to their increasingly primal urges, the men divide into warring factions, some wanting to kill Eve, some want to save her. Others exploit the chaos to wreak their own vengeance on new enemies, all turn to violence in a suddenly all-male world. Thanks. This is set in an Appalachian... words, what are they? Town, <laughs> whose primary employer is a woman's prisons. So. That is a very interesting synopsis and to the, a very interesting story and this book is probably going to take me a couple months to get through. I can already see it. But it sounds really good. The next book is a book from my library book sale and that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson and I know it's about like these twins who are different, they don't get along and something brings them back together. I think it's a boy that brings them back together. Of course. The next book I found at my library. <laughs> so the next book I have here is also from my library book sale, and this book I was. This book was an option for a book to read during Spookathon, and because I didn't know if I was gonna get the book carry in time. If you watch that reading vlog you'll know what happened because I had to put it on hold to carry because somebody already had it and I was looking for something to replace that if I couldn't get that in time but I was thinking about reading this book and I put it on hold at the library and then I found it at the book sale for a dollar so I'm like why not and that is The Final Girls by Riley Sager. Ten years ago, college student Quincy went on vacation with five friends and came back alone, the only survivor of a horror movie scale massacre. In an instant, she became a member of a club no one wants to be belonged to, a group of similar survivors known in the press as the Final Girls. Lisa, who lost nine sorority sisters to a college dropout's knife, Sam, who went up against the sack man during her shift at the Nightlight Inn, and now Quincy, who ran bleeding through the woods to escape Pine Cottage and a man she refers to as only him. The three girls are all attempting to put their nightmares behind them and with that, one another. Despite the media's attempts, they never meet. Quincy is doing well, maybe even great, thanks to her Xanax prescription. She has a caring, almost fiancé Jeff, a popular baking blog, a beautiful apartment, and a therapeutic presence in Coop, the police officer who saved her life all those years ago. Her memory won't even allow her to recall the events of that night. The past is the past. That is until Lisa, the first final girl, is found dead in her bathtub, wrist slit, and Sam, the second, appears on Quincy's doorsteps, blowing through Quincy's life like a whirlwind. Sam seems intent on making Quincy relive the past with increase increasingly dire consequences, all of which makes Quincy question why Sam sought her out. And when new details about Lisa's death come to light, Quincy's life becomes a race against time as she tries to unravel Sam's truth from her lies. 
evade the police and hungry reporters, and most crucially, remember what really happened at Pine Cottage before what was started 10 years ago is finished. Yes. Need to read. So the next book is also from a library book sale, and I was surprised to see this on the shelves for the library book sale because I heard it talk a lot on booktube and everybody was raving about it and giving like five or four stars and this book came out like last September so September 2017 and like it's a pretty cover it's just I don't the story never really intrigued me but then when I saw it at the library book sale I reread the synopsis and I'm like oh dang it's a dollar so why not <laughs> and that is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. For nearly a century, these ladies called Nomeo Lovids have tended the grounds of La Prairie. I'm sorry with these French words. The lush estate gardens that enchant guests from around the world. Also hidden a tragic legacy if, if they fall too deep in love, their lover vanishes. But then after years of vanishes, a strange boy appears in the garden. A boy that nobody knows about. The Nova League, the women and the grandmother treat the boy as a son. And the mother hopes that the boy is a sign that their vanished loves will reappear. But one of the cousins fear that he is a warning that no one yet understands. But no matter how much the boy is an enigma to them, the boy doesn't even know who he is. All he knows about who he is or where he came from is the first three letters of his name. And as Estrella helps F.E.L. Phil string together the mystery of his life, it leads him to secrets that are as dangerous and magical in the stunning exploration, 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 exploration of love lost and family. So that's what that is. So the next book I have here is a book in a series and the cover caught my attention and I didn't know it was of a series until I got home and saw the number on the spine like well crap. <laughs> but this is the third book in a series and that is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray and this is the third book of the Diviners series and since this is the third book I can't read it. And I can't tell you what it's about, but I heard a lot about the Diviner series. I'm not really sure what it's about. I know there's like a whole lot of complex to it, but I do want to get reading it since I have the third book. So the last two books I have here are books one and three in a series. Yeah, I don't have the second book in the series because I goodwill. It was only books one and three. What was that? One and three. Yeah, there wasn't a second book in the series. But I just, I got the first and third book in the series because my library has a second book in the series, so I thought I could just go there and get that book once I'm done with the first book. So, yeah. And that is Bear to You and Entwined with You by Sylvia Day. And I know this is like similar to the Fifty Shades of Grey series. And that's all I need to know, <laughs> basically. That's all anybody needs to know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> I have all the books here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, I have 12 books. <laughs> I thought I only had 10. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry, book. So those are all the books for this book haul. And holding those books made me out of breath. But thanks for watching. This is probably going to be the last book haul of 2018. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Find me and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.